everyone and welcome to the garden. Now if you could remember last week we did the blackberries and I said that I will show you when I've completed both sides. I haven't manured it yet because they haven't opened the bin up but I will do this week I think I don't know. So we'll just show you the blackberries all tied in. There's four canes on each side and that'll bear plenty of food for us. Now we're going to finally plant the garlic. So we'll go down the garden in the sunshine and plant the garlic. Now we've finally got down to the bottom of the garden. I'll just show you the garlic is like that and what we do we split it up so we can just get the corns like that and it's the corns that we plant pointy end up like that now you can skin them like that if you want or you could leave the skin on like that I've tried it both ways and it doesn't make no difference at all these are called garlic germidor which is actually a, a, a French origin. Now, the Germidor is actually a soft neck variety. We've bought new stock in because last year it was absolutely full of rust. And so I decided to try this one this year. It is a soft neck and it has a, a pink tinge to them when they're in the full clothes like that it's all nice and pink we'll, we'll see how we get on with them this year the ground has had potatoes in it as a previous crop now uh, i've dug it over after the potato crop to also get out any potatoes that have missed and there's always some and then what i did i put three barrel load of spent compost out of the pots and troughs that we have the bedding plants in. I screened it all to get all the root etc out, checked it for vine weevil which there was none and I've dug that in as well so it's actually been dug over three times now and then just patted the top with the fork to break the lumps up and then it's ready for the garlic. Now I put the mats down and I'm standing on those because without that I'll just sink straight into it because it is quite freshly dug. We'll go, we'll start back here I think. Now depth, three to four inches, no deeper because when they're grown and we're ready, nearly ready for harvesting, we need just to pull the soil away from the garlic clove to let it ripen a little bit before lifting but that's not till July so we haven't got to worry too much if you get them too deep you'll find they'll adjust anyway they tend to adjust themselves and if you put them too shallow they'll pull themselves in but that's how we go look and I'm going to do it about well just just under a trowel length apart so we'll put that one in remember pointy end up and then next one pointy end up there but if you mark your next one before you put that one in you'll not be wondering where it is and there we go not just three to four inch don't have to be a great depth and just push them in and pop it down a bit. Get the next one ready. I put the compost in because the garlic doesn't like this heavy land much. They don't like really heavy wet land. So hopefully the spent compost will just keep them light lighten the soil a little bit for us so there you go put that one in there 
and, and bury that. I've never had such good soil. I like composting. That's where we're going to put it. There's one in that one, so we mark that one and we put that one in there. That's two we want. Now some are big, some are small. Just put them in. That one's very thin, look, but it'll go all right. And if I put that one in as well, then that's that row complete. If when you're putting them in and they feel a bit soft or anything like that, reject those, you don't want them. I'd, it's a bit like the onions, if they're nice, big and plump, they usually grow faster. Okay. That's very thin, that's out of the real centre of the garlic clove, so in the centre ones we're probably not planting them. And I should put the, I put the rows the length of the trowel apart so I'll put these in and then I'll show you them done at last we've got the garlic in they always say put your garlic in in September and harvest in July well I think ours next year perhaps be the end of July now depending on the weather obviously if that's the garlic in the rest of this plot will be for the, we'll put the shallots in and some Japanese onions. I don't usually do the uh, Japanese onions because they've got haven't got real long stories life of them. But if you're thinking as things are now, come sort of midsummer, what onions we've got will be running out, so we'll be able to pick those out and use those. And it might just take us through until the main crops are ready for next year. So I will put some in. They'll probably be red if I can get some. But as I say, I'm running a little bit late, but it's not too bad now. Now, I just want to show you how I autumn dig. Now, what to do, I dig in a lot of barley straw. And... Uh, the idea is that this barley straw will rot down through the winter and act like a sponge through the summer so I don't have to water so much. I have been trying it and it does work. Now where such like as the cauliflowers and the potatoes are going to go I will use manure underneath those but these plots here I will dig in low I think actually I've done three, three plots already and I think I've nearly used a bale of barley straw. That's how much I put in. If you look at the bed behind dye, this plot's been dug with, as you can see, a lot of straw. It's still sticking up, but if we get lots of rain, which we should have over the next few days, and then hoe it with a good hoe, it pushes the straw under the soil as you actually hoe it so that gets rid of it and after that the worms will do the rest through the winter now that'll be it for now now we need hopefully in the next day or so I'll have the onions ready so we'll show those going in and then we need to start moving those strawberries down while it's still warm in the ground now that'll be it for now I just want to say that I don't know if anybody else has noticed it, especially in the UK, but the amount of white fly flying about in the last two or three days, now I want to show you, there isn't any, I think the wind's blowing it away, but my neighbour said, where's all that white dust coming from? I said, it's not white dust, it's white fly. He says, oh, I'm going to shut my tunnel up, but I think it'd be too late by then. That'll be it for now. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye now.